again, it's Erwin Evening Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be unboxing Hag Swag's October box. It's Between Worlds. Um, let's dig in. I'm not sure why this keeps coming snapped. That one tape is always broken for some reason. Sides were sealed, so. So here we go. Between worlds. I'm gonna take up all of these and put them off to the side. cloth here. Oh. I like that. It's very pretty. And we got mugwort. spray. Used to clear... Oh, are you going to focus here? There we go. Used to clear the space and amplify the voices beyond the veil, which in deep meditation and communion spray on Self-alter and space can use as a pillow mist for dream work. Contains wormwood, lavender, sage, obsidian essence. Mercury is in retrograde, man. Technology does not want to work for me. Okay. Oh. Hmm. This one's a little oily. Is it obsidian or jet? Still learning stones. Cheater card will help. Okay. I love how everything keeps coming packaged in bubble bags. It protects it from being broken. Ancestor ritual oil. Mugwort, apple, and spices. Oh, that smells amazing. Incense. Cinnamon rose. Pal Darko. Warm wood. Wine. Star um, anise seed. Elderberry. Burn on a char charcoal disc. Oh. It smells very fruity. Fear 
spirit powder. This salted powder is intended to increase your communication with your dead or to ward our space from unwanted spirits. That is good to know. Whoa. That smells good. Ooh, what's in this? Moon beeswax. I'm assuming it's a candle. shaped candle. Interesting. Here at Scandals, we take our candles very seriously. We use only high quality Canadian waxes. We never add scent, making them safe to burn around precious babies and pets. That is good to know. We are a family run business. Our original molds were found in a thrift store for 50 cents. Love that. Always burn your candle on a safe tray as they do drip. Thank you for your support. We truly appreciate it. Ooh. I'm going to have to check them out. I love the shape of this candle. And I love that they found the mold at a thrift store. I love thrift stores. And what do we have here? 2021 Astrological Pocket Planner. Ooh. Oh, it's an actual planner? That's so neat. I don't actually have a planner for 2021 yet. Ooh, I very much like that. It'd be even nicer if it would focus. And these are all... Oh, and it's even got the calendars for 2022. That is neat. I like that. I think that's everything in there. Yep. Okay, so let's get the cheater cards then. So we've got the Be Between Worlds. The wheel is turned. Worlds between death and life open up. The veil is thin. Oh, it was obsidian. I was right. Obsidian. Planet is Saturn. Element is fire. The Aztecs fashioned flat square mirrors of this black glass for use in divination, and it is still commonly used for scrying. It is a grounding centering stone. Hold it in your hands or place it on your bare feet when you're flighty and can't seem to get your physical life in order. Obsidian is effective when carried or used in protective rituals. You can place this under your pillow for lucid dreaming or on your altar, on your altar or in your space for energy cutting. Nice. I have an obsidian arrow, but I don't have a stone like this one yet. We've got mugwort. Element is earth, planet is Venus. Mugwort is a plant of much magic and versatility. Strength, psychic powers, protection, prophetic dreams, healing, astral projection, and more. 
Common uses are for tea and scrying and divination rituals. In a sachet under your pillow for aid in lucid dreaming. Or burning for funerary purposes. Or connecting with your dearly beloved. If pregnant or breastfeeding, please seek the advice of an experienced practitioner before use. Good to know. Not that I am. Bless sewing. Oh, I love this. The stickers are very good for journaling. I need her more. Oh. This is awesome. And we got our grimoire page for October 2020. Honoring the ancestors. While the veil is thin, we take the time to honor and connect with our ancestors. The blood of our blood, those that came before us. In our daily lives, they provide with wisdom, courage, and guidance. We carry their stories and experience in our bones. They are why we are where we are and why we are who we are. This ritual can be done on as large or small scale as you are comfortable with. What you will need, a belonging of your ancestors or a pitcher, a candle and a candle dish, an offering bowl and an offering, something special to your heritage, spirit powder, optional incense and ritual oil. Set your stage either on your altar or your sacred chosen spot. Clear the energy of the area with either smoke, ritual spray, casting a circle, calling corners, or however you are comfortable. Once this is done, take a moment to clear your mind by set sitting in silence and take 10 deep breaths in and out. Set the offering bowl, pitcher, or item and candles in their desired places. Take a pinch of the spirit powder and sprinkle it around the base of the candle Acknowledging that this candle is one of your veneration. Light the candle and thank your ancestors who are with you for, co for coming to guide you. Place the offering in the bowl while saying, thinking, and feeling gratitude. Give thanks for the life you have. Thanks for the wisdom you have gained through your bloodline. Thanks for walking through this human experience with you. Either with your eyes closed or following, focusing on the flame of the candle, search your mind and the energy field around you. They're there with you. Do you feel them? Sit for as long as you want or need to make a connection. You can also use this time to do some work with gentle traumas. If there was a trauma passed through the family line, use this opportunity to thank your ancestors for the lessons learned from it and humbly ask them to take them back as they're no longer a servant in your line. When you are ready, bring yourself back and close your space. Thank your ancestors once again before you extinguish the candle and leave the offering there for them for a time. You can take the opportunity as well to create an ancestor altar at this time of year to honor year round if you do not already have one. So in the Hag Swag box, we've got Mugwort Herb. Mugwort is a plant of much magic and versatility, strength, psychic powers, protection, prophetic dreams, healing, astral projection, and more. Common uses for tea and scrying and divination rituals. In a sachet under your pillow to aid in lucid dreamings or burning for funerary purposes or connecting with your dearly beloved. Obsidian stone. The Aztecs fashioned flat square mirrors of this black glass for use in divination and is still commonly used for scrying. It is a grounding centering stone. Hold it in your hands or place it on your bare feet when you're flighty and can't seem to get your physical life in order. Hagswag thinning the veil spray. Used to clear the space and amplify the voices beyond the veil, which in deep meditation and communion, spray on self, altar, and space. Can use as a pillow mist for dream work or in any divinatory work. This spray can also be used as a conduit when speaking with your ancestors or dearly beloved. Banshee in the Attic Danced with the Dead Patch. Okay, so it's a patch. It is important to pay tribute to the people you have lost. Make time to honor their memories and the moments you shared. You can do this by visiting their grave sites and leaving offerings of flowers, candles, or things they liked. 
You can make an ancestor altar with their photos and, or, and offerings, or even a pocket memory altar with their picture and dried rose petals in a locket. This beautifully hand silk screened patch reminds us that the dead are to be celebrated. You can frame this for your altar space. Use as a small altar cloth or sew on as a patch. Scandal's Skeleton Bone Candle. Finger bone beeswax candle made lovingly here in Alberta, so it's Canadian. When working in funerary and necromantic magic, it can be helpful to use bones of the dead. Not only can it be impractical and expensive to work with real human bones, but they run the risk of being procured unethically. This finger bone holds the place for that representation and duly works as a veneration piece on our ancestors' altar. Burn to pay tribute and thank your ancestral line for their guidance. Hagswag Spirit Powder. This salted powder is intended to increase your communication with your dead or to ward our space from unwanted spirits. Make a small circle around your offering candles to invite them in. Add to offering bowls or use as a base to set a small candle in. Alternatively, to use it as a spirit ward, you can use a pinch to line the threshold of your home. This powder was made with the intent of working with the spirits of loved ones past and protecting from spirits that may do us harm. Llewellyn's Astrological 2021 Pocket Planner Calendar, a favorite resource for beginners and advanced astrologers for more than 20 years. Llewellyn's Astrological Pocket Planner shows you how to pinpoint the perfect times for any activity or event. This convenient pof pocket-sized planner helps you choose the best days for vacations, business meetings, birthday parties, and everything in between. Providing cosmic wisdom in a compact form, this planner is your key to a bright year full of success. Explore daily signs, moon phases, aspects, and the best days for planting and fishing. Hagswag Sawain Incense For use while the veil is thinning, use to connect with your departed, ideally in meditation or as an offering to your ancestors. Made with traditional funerary plants, cinnamon, rose, paudarco. Wormwood, wine, anise seed, and elderberry. Always be sure to burn loose incense in a well-ventilated area and do not leave unattended. May cause drowsiness, ideal for deep meditative states. Hagswag Ancestor Ritual Oil. A blend of mugwort, apple, and spices for ancestral veneration, spirit communication, and draw on the wisdom of your ancestors. Anoint yourself and your candles or tools before engaging in communion with the departed. You can also add this to offerings or use to charge tools that will act as a conduit for drawing spirits. Hagswag Sawain Decal Custom 4x4 Blessed Sawain Vinyl Decal Sawain is a Gaelic festival marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of winter or the darker half of the year. Traditionally, it is celebrated from October 31st to October, uh, November 1st as a Celtic day began and ended at sunset. This is about halfway between the autumn equinox and the winter solstice. This video is not sponsored and I have no affiliation with Hagswag. Just excited to have found a Canadian witchy subscription box as it's the only one I have found thus far. It is on the higher price point to many of the witchy subscription boxes I have seen out there, but it does work out to be cheaper if you are in Canada like me and have to consider shipping, exchange rates, and import fees when ordering from the U.S. or overseas. I do like that Hagswag sources Canadian artists for the items that they do not make themselves. The box is listed at $64.99 Canadian, which I believe is the one-time purchase price. If you subscribe, the price does drop to, I believe, about $61.74 Canadian, plus applicable taxes. If you reside in Canada, the shipping is free. Shipping to U.S. and international is $9.99 Canadian. I do believe import fees may be added depending on where you live, so keep that in mind. There are several options when subscribing. There is a 3-month, 6-month, 12-month, and ongoing option, so you do have a choice. One other thing I do like is that you are able to manage your subscription boxes, so if there's a theme that you do not particularly want, or are interested in, then you can go and skip that box so you will not receive those items that you may not use. Each box has a theme for the month and included in the box is what you need to complete the spell or ritual for that month's theme.
October was Between Worlds, which is honoring the ancestors. There are many bottles and jars contained in this month's kit, and I was quite impressed. I personally haven't done much ancestry work, at least to the extent in this month's box, so I'm looking forward to using the items from this month to further my learning. I really love the grimoire pages and the info cards for the stones and herbs. They make great additions to any books of shadows, grimoires, or journals. However you choose to record your spells and knowledge as you walk your path. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite item from this month's box was. Also, how do you honor your ancestors as the veil thins? As always, if you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and give it a like and be sure to click that subscribe button. See you in the next one and remember, keep crafty!